for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you analysis and designing of g plus 5 external floating column and building structure by using etap software so initially i will show you the model which i was already done for the respected floating column and building which is of external floating column and structure so basically the floating column and will be provided for the building structure in order to increase the parking spacing for the building okay again in the same process if you provide the floating column and structure sometimes that loading distribution process will be changes due to that reason some of the columns will be get uh, more amount of the reinforcement values and some of the columns will be get less amount of the reinforcement value okay this will affect the foundation reinforcement also okay so basically floating uh, column and structures will be consisting of two types one is related to the external floating column and structure and one is related to the internal floating column and structures for the external floating column and structures generally we will remove the all the external column sections for the internal column section we will remove the uh, some of the major uh, not important columns for the building structure so here in this case i was removed the all the external columns in order to make the floating column and structure so firstly i will show you the model so click on the etap software here so now we can see this is the model so this is the floating column and 3d model so i will rotate this respected model for simple understanding just i'm clicking on the 3d rotate option now we can see so here in this case all the external columns are removed for the building structure which is comes under the external floating column and section so for this building it was considered this is the ground floor first floor second floor third floor fourth floor again this is the fifth floor so this is the g plus 5 building structural model which is consisting of only the 12 number of the columns for the building structure okay so basically we will use this type of the building structure we will see in the small apartment structure okay so initially i will show you the material property for the building go to define section uh, click on the material property so for this building i was taken m30 grade l concrete provision and hys d bars of 500 grade steel provision again in the same process i was taken beam size which is consisting of approximately 0.3 cross 0.46 and column size is 0.46 cross 0.46 again in the same process i was taken the slab thickness which is comes under 150 mm section so now after the uh, uh, applying the uh, load cases we need to analyze the structure so for this building structure i was taken both the cases which is related to the gravity loading condition system as well as the lateral loading condition systems okay so here i am selecting the analyze option uh, set uh, load cases to run option click on the run now option so that it will do the analysis process for the respective structure with the considerations of the external floating section now you can see here this is a deflection of the building structure due to the presence of the all the external floating section the corner slab sections are bending here on the particular structure here like this okay so if you provide the external floating column and the bending behavior will be obtained in the slab section okay so now i will show you the shear force diagram so click on the display option uh, forces stresses diagram frame spandrel force select shear to to option you can select any one of the load case just i am selecting simply dead load click on apply so that it will display the shear force diagram for the building structure under consideration again i am selecting moment 33 option click on apply option so that it will display the bending moment diagram for the building structure so after analysis process completed we need to design the structure so for designing of the structure we need to proceed with beam design section column designing section and slab designing section so in order to design a slab section we need to uh, make the uh, uh, grid sections for the respected different types of the floors so initially i am unlocking the model click on okay option so now we have to click on the uh, edit option edit uh, grid strip condition click on add edit grid strip so here i am selecting story number 5 which is of x direction with the strip layer is a click on apply option so that it will apply the strip condition system for the x layer in the uh, fifth floor for the respected uh, a section okay again in the same process we have to apply the uh, grid direction will be of y again in the same process uh, grid direction will be of y and grid layer will be of b click on apply option so that it will apply the grid section which is comes under the y direction with grid strip layer is b in the same process we have to apply the all the strip condition system for the remaining floors okay now we can see the 3d model which is consisting of all the pink color mark for this respected building structure so i was applied the all the grid strips for the respected ground floor section first floor section 
second floor section third floor section fourth floor section as well as the fifth floor section so simply i am selecting here as ok option for the respective grid strip now we have to do the analysis process again just i am selecting the run analysis option so that it will do the analysis process condition system with the help of the grid dimension sections which is of uh, fifth floor fourth floor third floor second floor fifth, uh, first floor okay now we can see again the deflection diagram is showing here like this now we have to design the beam section column section as well as the slab for that go to display design concrete frame design so initially you need to click on the view revise the preferences we need to check whether it is comes under the IES codal provision or you can select any one of the codal provision according to your standards click on ok option again in the same process we have to click on the design option concrete frame design so here i am selecting start designing check option so that it will start designing check for the respected beam sections column sections for the uh, g plus y building structural model now you can see here it is checking for the fourth floor again in the same process amps it was checking for the respected considerations of the column section so finally it will check for the respected sections of the slabs after checking process is done the complete uh, beam designing results here showing here like this which is consisting of the beam sections some of the beams are failing here and the respected uh, considerations of the ground floor but it is not important so again we have to select the slab designing section select view revised preferences select is 456 2000 codal provision click on ok option click on this option select the story numbers here just i am selecting story numbers here like this click on ok again i am selecting the slab designing check click on the start designing check option so that it will start designing check for the respected story numbers which is a fifth floor fourth floor third floor second floor and first floor for the respected consideration then after that we can easily uh, design this particular structure detailing of the particular structure in csa detailing software now we can see it is checking all the values now we can see here the slab strip designing layer values are showing here like this it will be consisting of all the designing results which is comes under the slab section so now we have to do the detailing process in csi detailing version software so for that we have to save the model initially just i am selecting ctrl s option close this etap software just i am opening my e csi detailing etap software so click on the file option here and select the new detailing option just i am selecting the uh, desktop which is consistent comes under external floating click on the g plus 5 building structural model with external floating column on option now the model is importing from the ETAP software to CSI detailing version software. Now we can see all the data is imported here. Click on OK option here. Some of the beams are failing due to that reason only it was showing the message. So click on the uh, detailing units option. Select uh, as per the SI system here and select this particular section to the ton. And select the rebar spacing option in millimeter and select this respected load will be in kilonewton. Click on OK. Select the preferences option as per the standards of IS456-2000 code. Click on OK. Select the rebar rules option. So here I am selecting the minimum spacing option is approximately 120 mm. Maximum is 450. Again in the same process I am selecting the minimum spacing option is 120 here. Again this is also 120. This is also 120. Now I am selecting this particular value is 450 value, 450 value, 450 value. Again, I am selecting the column. This time, selecting this particular section is 120. Again, I am selecting this particular section which is comes under the 450 value. Click on OK option. Again, we have to click on the OK option. So that it will design the slab sections as well as the beam sections, column section for the respected consideration. Okay. Now we can see it was done with this respected slab designing section. This is a floor framing plan. This is the rebar plan for the respected consideration. It will be consisting of all the reinforcement values which is comes under this. This is the top rebar plan. So this is the bottom rebar plan for the respected structure. Again in the same process you can click on the all rebar plan option so that it will show you the complete rebar reinforcement values for the structure. Again in the same process just I am selecting the rebar KG option. So initially it will take some time to load the particular top rebar plan section as well as the bottom rebar plan section for the respected building structure. So now we can see it was done with all the loading process. This is the complete reinforcement values which is comes under the slab section for the building structure. Again in the same process we have to see the beam read detailing, select this option, elevation section, you can select any one of the floor, simply I am selecting story number 2 which is consisting of this respected particular beam section, just I am selecting section A, 
now we can see this is a section a which is consisting of approximately uh, four bars of uh, 14 mm diameter at the top reinforcement section again it will be consisting of four bars of uh, 20 mm diameter bar at the bottom reinforcement section again it will be consisting of your respective 12 mm diameter bar which is placed at a distance of 77 mm uh, center to center distance for the respective stirrups again in the same process this is a b section this is a c this is a d in the same process i am selecting the uh, re reinforcement uh, uh, diagram which is comes under the profile so this is the bill of material this is the rebar quantity just i am selecting rebar kg option so that it will load the complete rebar kg for the respected consideration here like this you can rotate the model here by using this respected consideration again in the same process you can select any one of the column section from the respected designing section just i am selecting here concrete frame elevation simply i am selecting uh, cc11 you can click on this particular elevation one this is the elevation two this time selecting here as a section this is the a section this is the b section now you can see it will be consisting of complete reinforcement design results here like this this is the bill of material this is the rebar quantity option this is the rebar kg option so that it will load the complete rebar reinforcement values for the respected considerations of the rcc column for the external floating column and building structure okay so this is the complete process analysis and designing of external floating column and building by using etap software if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give you the answer for that respected questions thank you